We walk by faith and not by sight. Be planted in Jesus and you'll bear fruit. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Teresa and I'm happy to have you stop by here to join me in a quick Sunday Gospel Reflection and we begin as always with a prayer to the Holy Spirit in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful. Grant that by the same Holy Spirit, we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's sing a hymn to God. Let's sing praise my soul. Praise my soul, the King of heaven, to his feet thy tribute bring, ransomed, healed, restored, forgiven, who like thee his praise shall sing. Praise him, praise him, Praise him, praise him, praise the everlasting King. Amen. Today's gospel reading, Jesus teaches his disciples about faith. Today's gospel reading is from the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 4, verses 26 through 34. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the ground and would sleep and rise night and day, and through it all the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how, only God knows the trajectory of our lives. We are just like a seed that God has planted. God watches us grow. He helps us grow. He sees how we are doing. And let's keep reading. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit. First the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wills the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. Jesus continues, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that, when it is sown in the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds of the earth on the earth but once it is sown it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade so god is comparing the kingdom of god to a mustard seed. And that's how our faith is, because God's kingdom is in us. The seed is the word of God that God has planted in us. And so long as we abide in Jesus Christ, our savior, we are definitely by God's grace going to grow and bear much fruit. We are the hands and feet of Jesus Christ and we'll go out there into the world and bear fruit. And the Holy Spirit will guide us and help us to produce kingdom fruit. Amen. Short and simple. 
And the, the, this passage of the gospel concludes by saying, with many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. Amen. So God is telling us to be planted in him. We need to abide in Christ Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. He is our teacher. He is our Adonai. And Jesus Christ, once we are abiding in him, he will help us grow just like the mustard seed. We are going to grow and mature in Christ and we're able to also sow into the lives of others. Remember, the seed is the word of God. Amen. Don't forget, trust in Jesus Christ. No matter what you're going through today, I encourage all of us, trust in him. Say, Jesus. I trust in you. I don't care what's going on. I trust in you. I believe in you. You are the Son of God. Amen. Jesus, the Son of God. I believe in you. I believe in you. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Let's end by singing, bringing in the sheaves. Because as followers of Jesus Christ, in his name, we are going to produce fruit, kingdom fruit. And so let's sing, bringing in the sheaves. Sowing in the morning, sowing seeds of kindness, sowing in the noontide and the dewy eaves, waiting for the harvest and the time of reaping, we shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, we shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves. Bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, we shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves. Amen. And let me just add one quick note. Today's second reading from the gospel, no, from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, St. Paul says, We are always courageous, courageous, although we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith and not by sight. So let us be courageous in being Christ's hands and feet this week. Let us be planted in Christ Jesus. Let us pray all the time without season. Even if it's just that short and simple prayer. Jesus, I trust in you. Let us abide in Christ and we'll certainly bear much fruit. Because as St. Paul is telling us, we walk by faith and not by sight. So it doesn't matter what we're going through. We walk by faith, knowing that Jesus has overcome the world and he has promised us and he is true to his word. He is with us forever and ever because he is e Emmanuel. Amen. By God's grace, I'll see you next week. Have a very blessed and wonderful week serving God. And also remember, God is good all the time and all the time God is good. We pray the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit dwell and abide with us now and forevermore. And surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Pray to me. Pray for me to our Lord Jesus Christ as I pray for you too. God bless you. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye.